In this video, I'm showing Read Alignment, Feature Lines, Bridge Creator Feature Lines, select the lines, press mid mouse, select the center line and the active lines, model origin, press OK. Now you can extrude along these lines. Save, give a name to the file and get used to give to the shape name the same file. This way, you'll know which file belongs to each object. Give, change start and end. Get used to do that way. Now, you are ready to add a section. You can add an empty section, one reference or four references. Or, if you create your own library, you can then reuse the sections you previously created. Let's use this deck. Give the start for the chainage or station. Save and you're ready to edit. Now you need to replace the proxy lines from the previous section to the new proxy lines. We have here more proxy lines than we need. So we need to make some adjustments. Change the right line. And then just tweak the section to your need. In this case, I'm going to replace that constraint to the point number four. I have created a problem that I will be showing later how to solve. I don't need that proxy line, so I just delete it. And I'll repeat the process to the left hand side. Replace the line, solve the points that are the lost reference by replacing with another reference, and delete the not necessary lines. Pressing OK now, it will give me an error. But before that, let's solve this problem here. This is the error I was talking about. The point number one and number two are in the same place. So you need to delete one of the points and fix the constraints. Let's do that. The point number three and number four, they have the same problem. Deleting the point 4 and fixing the constraint of the new point 4. Now everything is ready for the next step. We can see the preview of the section in light blue. If you want to keep the preview, just select the box or unselect. Note that you cannot snap to this line. Then you press create and you have your double deck geometry. Let's delete this and add something else from the library. In this case, a deck with a void. Let's repeat the same process. Give the change, station, and replacing the proxy lines. We only have one, and then we have virtual points. Let's use the virtual points to our benefit. Selecting the line of proxy, pressing plus twice, we create two copies, and then we replace to the left and right proxy lines. Now select the virtual points and change the constraint. The virtual point one should be constrained to the left hand side road line. Change the x value to zero and the y and the left hand side is solved. And now let's change a virtual point. The advantage of using virtual points is that the concrete lines outline is not constrained all the time to road lines. You just need to move the virtual point and it's easier for manipulation. 
you can preview the, the section once again, select the object before you press create again. Get used to do this way. Now we have an opening, double curve opening. Now let's change the name of this section. Just place and, and now I'm going to save it into my library A. This section is now saved into the library A that is stored under the Attributes folder of the Model folder. If you want to change the name of the sections, you can do it directly from the library. Here, edit a section, change the name, and press OK, and then save before, before pressing OK again. Deleting the old section, Changing the change of the new section. Select the deck before pressing create. And now press create and the object is updated.